Hey there. We are back in Assetto Corsa and we are driving another fat Alfie track. <clears throat> this is uh, Brum Garden. This is a track that existed uh, close to Bern, Switzerland. And uh, it was built in 1931. For the first uh, few years of its life, it was exclusively a motorcycle racing track, motorcycles and motorcycle sidecar racing. And uh, in 1934, I believe, it hosted its first Formula One Grand Prix of the era and hosted uh, Grand Prix's uh, Swiss Grand Prix from 1934 to 1954 with interruptions only for World War II. Now, in response to the tragedy that occurred at Le Mans in 1955, Switzerland outright banned wheel-to-wheel -wheel motorsport competitions. So only rallies and hill climbs remained as ways in which uh, people could exercise their motorsports demons in Switzerland. And uh, so this track closed in 1955 permanently and basically no longer exists. Fat Alfie had to use topographic maps, pictures, and other sorts of things to rebuild this track pretty much from scratch to present it here for us in Assetto Corsa. So I am driving a close to period, correct, 1957 Porsche 356 A Speedster. Mostly because it's a car I'm familiar with, can drive it pretty well. Um, I didn't want to pull out a 50s era Grand Prix car for this, uh, mostly because this track is really difficult to drive and learning a new car to complement that would probably not go so well. Um, also tried a 550 Spider uh, mod that I found uh, in the archives. And while it drove okay, it sounded terrible. So I opted to go with this. And this track is uh, deceptively quick. One of the unique characteristics is that it doesn't really have any straights. It is just a lot of high speed corners which is a different kind of track for sure. And a lot of the corners look very similar to one another. <laughs> you constantly have to think, am I where I think I am? Or I do, maybe that's a deficiency that I have. kind of rules you into thinking you're safe when really you're not. It's a really difficult track to drive. I mean, I love it. It's really good, but it's only uh, 7.3 kilometers long, so about four and a half miles. Fifties period uh, ambiance is dead on, uh, as is something kind of come to expect of Fat Alfie tracks, if I'm honest. stayed in fifth there but I wasn't sure again where I was I thought I was at a different corner for a second this is a tough turn Another lap. 
cobblestone. Oh. Not something that I enjoy very much, cobblestones. I really don't like to make my car sound like a broken shopping cart. <laughs> and that's kind of what cobblestones do with the frame rattling around pretty hard. Hey, I uh, know that some of you watched the uh, Denmark video and asked me um, if traffic was available because they noted uh, that uh, in the demo by 4R there was traffic in the Denmark update because he did a video of his own as well and uh, there was not traffic yet um, it was still in development I saw a post on the Patreon for Too Real that they have Denmark traffic now so if you're a Patreon member, you probably saw that too. And if you're not, you're wanting traffic for the Denmark map. Um, it is now available via the uh, Two Real Traffic Patreon site. slow enough that I didn't need to flip the second gear, but I did. We're doing one more? Let's do one more. What the heck?
Okay. That's Brimgarden. A lot of fun. And, uh... You can see why safety was a, maybe a minor concern in the era, especially following the, uh, the horrible tragedy of the law. But sorry to see this track go and be lost in history, but appreciate Fat Alfie for doing the, the hard work to uh, bring it back to life and uh, have it for us to enjoy here in Assetto Corsa. I thank you for watching. Appreciate all of you. Leave your comments, like, subscribe. Uh, we'll see you on the next one. Bye now.